Marcus, 2-1, it's silverware at the end of the day. Uh, not, not quite the silverware I think we all wanted, but it's, it's silverware. It's silverware at the end of the day. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, what, that's three finals on the bounce. Um, certainly the county can't take, uh, can't throw that we don't take it seriously. Uh, it, it, you know, the rewards are obviously a trophy of winning a final, as well as the, the friendly that sort of becomes a gimme, um, which helps um, because of the, you know, the, the team, the opposition and what it comes with it. So we look forward to that. Um, but, you know, throughout, um, you know, Raku are very good. So basically show the strength of their squad. You know, the, the nucleus and if not, probably the 11 will be playing Sunday. We're out there and they, they still cause us a lot of problems. They're very well open on our side. And um, I just felt towards the end of the first half we started competing a bit more and then I, I tweaked a few things um, with the substitution to deal with their pace and then uh, just told them to move about five yards further forward and wider and all of a sudden we started causing the problems and we got our, um, you know, our, our natural penalties that we get per game. Yeah, you know, it's strange how, how football comes around in circles, isn't it? We started the season here at Wellingborough, we've ended it here, we started it with some silverware, we've ended it with some silverware, it's, yes. and I mean, the, the bit in between hasn't been too bad either, has it really? Um, no, well, let's be straight, we, we won in promotion, um, we gutted how it went slow, um, but we've, we've bounced back, we're a wounded animal at the moment, I'm sure uh, a bit of rejuvenating in the summer. Um, probably an introduction of a few personnel here and there. The, the new league that we've been allocated today certainly looks um, exciting, something that we want to achieve something in. So um, I'm quite happy because it's uh, not too far from my, from my home. So. Uh, I'll, um, I'll be travelling quite, uh, quite a few times direct, so no, it, we, um, we've, got, we've got a bit of work to tidy up on a few things, um, some decisions to be made because of the, uh, the location of the league and a lot of the fixtures, so I just want to you know, wish Brackley all the best in the two big games that we've got, thank everyone at the club uh, this year because it's been um, uh, entertaining. You know, with the amount of goals we've scored, penalties we've scored, and the pre-season that the staff gave the boys certainly gave um, gave the fans uh, a lot of reward in seeing that their shirt was being um, worn with pride. I don't think there's one game you can throw at us where we, we didn't give them um, everything, give 100%. Yes, we might not have got the results, or tactically we might have got it wrong, or people just had bad days. But as for work rate and effort, we can't fault any of them, and a lot of them games we, we turn the results around. So, yeah, we're, uh, we'll move on, and football doesn't stop, does it? So, uh, well, I was going to come on to that. Of course, we've got the off season. There's a few players who other clubs may be looking at of ours. There's some notable, obviously, players in there. Um, you know, Performed obviously Aaron Lafon is one of our the star four top top, top top scorer. Hopefully we can keep him. I mean, have you got anything else on the boat? Yeah, I think you, 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 well? yeah, you've got you've got to respect respect the level and the fact that we're not a, um, a club that has dished out a squad of contracts you know everyone keeps asking me about retainer lists here you know what who we keep half the squad's non-contract so at any given time anyone can go you know the, the worry of what Aaron O'Connor is doing now is no different to when he joined us in August um, no different to last summer no different to um, any part of this season and then that goes for every non-contract player um, so that worry is always going to be there um, no matter what. Um, obviously we'll do our absolute utmost to keep uh, everyone and um, there won't be a retainer list purely because um, we're keeping the contract players but the um, we will be you know we'll be looking to bring new faces in to compete with the current squad and we'll see how that pans out. Obviously Matthew Stevens goes back to, to Peterborough. Um, is there any news at the moment on, on what's going to be happening with Matthew? Not, not, not too early. Ma Matty Stevens will look after Matty Stevens and he's got a year left at Peterborough in which uh, in his mind he's got a break into that first team. So he's going to do all his work this summer so he gets back in pre-season to prove that he can be in that first team squad. If he doesn't get in the first team squad then discussions will be had. Um, yes, there'll be a lot, a lot of other clubs interested and um, it might come down to the level, it might come down to the player uh, and we all know he enjoyed it being here. It's not the um, finished article, there is more work for him to do. We would like to finish 
Chelsea off. But you've got to remember for Matty as well, it's a big year because it's the end of his contract. So does he want to be running around for Kettering or does he want to be running around in a pitch with Sean? And you know, that, that's where he's got to make them decisions and got to be in you know, Steve Evans' face and prove that he is good. And then that's all we can do. Well, finally, of course, there's still one big game to go, of course, with the fans match on Saturday. Um, you were in attendance last year for last two years. Of it, last two years, yeah. 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 Um, have you liked what you've seen? Have you seen anyone there who's, who, who you've maybe thought of snapping up at the, um, the off season? Unfortunately, I've had to make a decision to come and watch a load of ballerinas uh, at Burton Latimer or watch my two daughters in a festival as ballerinas. And um, I'm, I'm sworn to watch my uh, daughters, I'm afraid, because I haven't seen them all year in their dancing. So I'll. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's unfortunate or fortunate, I'll let we'll, you decide. We'll, we'll, we'll have the highlights, we'll be uh, filming it, uh, you can peruse at your leisure if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I will certainly probably get to the back end of it or uh, the presentation. I